Okay, so we are here tonight to talk about uh, our new standard space report cards. Um, and first, here are the members that did this. So if you're wondering like how this was created, how it was created through you know the standard space report card committee, elementary leadership team, family and community engagement committee, which I believe uh, Jen Klee is on, and everyone you know we talked to along the way to get this done. So here's a little bit of a timeline starting in 2015. Uh, they worked uh, through the curriculum standards and it all started with like us building our curriculum and then moving to this so we wanted to get our curriculum set first and then move to our report card our standards based report card as we went through um, draft report cards were analyzed and revised the spring and fall of this year uh, and the final draft was submitted to the board of education i believe last week or in the last two weeks uh, to go from there uh, what is a standards based report card? So it identifies the most important skills in each grade level and content area in alignment with the state and national standards and district standards. So uh, Common Core came out in 2009-2010 and these uh, standards that you'll see on the report card uh, which are in the packet that you have, uh, you will see each grade level as we move forward. So why did we move that way? Well, obviously it informs uh, towards specific standards and expectations. So now our report card matches our curriculum and our curriculum matches our report card. So everything that the students are learning throughout the day are matched through the Common Core uh, or the National, the Next Generation Science Standards. So all that will push through into the report card. So everything now aligns as we move forward. Um, so we'll assess academic, personal, social development over time. And then obviously it's, a, it's another way we can communicate how well your student's doing academically and socially, um, which hasn't changed uh, with the report card. So a few of the highlights, uh, the grading scale, um, which we'll get into a little bit. Um, there, there are some, so we have three terms. We, have three, we, have a, we go on a trimester. Right, so there's three times you'll get these. You'll get them in December, you'll get them in March, and then you'll get them at the end of the year, our uh, report cards. So uh, some, some trimesters, they actually don't grade some things. So you'll see a gray box in there. So that means that that's not being, you know, that's not being assessed. It's, it's not a part of the curriculum during that trimester. So you might see something in the second, in the second trimester that's not taught, so it's grayed out. So um, going through all of that, uh, there's obviously ELA, math, science, and social studies. Uh, we are working on the science and social studies curriculum right now, so that will evolve as we go. And then we just got the vision of the graduate was just um, approved by the Board of Education. So you'll see that piece too, the vision of the graduate skills will actually be included in the report card as well. And I will show you what that was look like in a little bit. <coughs> so next steps, so we are sharing information with you. Um, we're here at a PTO meeting tonight, and then we'll see if that, and then the parent information light won't be at the end of November. It'll actually probably be take place more closer to conferences when people come in. So during conferences, I might set up, you know, a station at, you know, the front of the, uh, at the front of the school, so that if people are coming in for conferences, if they want to come in a little bit earlier, and they have questions about the report card, they can come see me, you know, during that time. And so how will we measure success? Uh, you know, we're looking to see the changes, things like that. Uh, parents will be surveyed, you know, with how they like the report card and such. And then if changes are needed, uh, we'll, we'll take, we'll create changes as we move forward. Um, so it's really new for us. So we're hoping that everyone has the opportunity to learn from this first trimester and we get all the questions before that. That's kind of why we're you know, going to PTOs. We're putting as much information as possible. As I sent out a blast today as well, that kind of had our family guide, the family guide for our report cards. I sent that home today so you can have that uh, in your email. So we have, you're gonna see E, M, A, P, and L, P. So E is exceeding the standard, M is obviously meeting the standard, AP is approaching, progressing towards meeting the grade level expectation, and LP is limited progress. So that's not meeting the grade level progress. So 
So you have four options just like before where you had one, two, three, four. Very similar, right? The key to this is that we are aiming for the grade level expectation. So that's at the end of the year. So we're looking for an end of the year expectation. So you're not going to have on your report card a lot of M's and E's in the first trimester. So that is a change as we're moving forward because this is the M says that they're meeting the grade level expectation which for some of them they won't have an opportunity to meet until the end of the year. So don't be surprised if you have a lot of approaching APs on your report card because they haven't finished, you know, meeting the grade level expectation until the end of the year. So you could see a lot of APs as you move forward. So and you see that? That's okay. That's where your kids are. That means they're approaching grade level. They're moving towards that. And we've only had, you know, by the time the report card goes home, we've only had 65 days. That's only a third of the year. So don't be nervous if you see that. And that's going to be a big case. Now, you know, um, going through that. All right. And even if you have, you know, an LP on there, limited progress, that's just where we are now, right? It's the beginning of the year. We're moving forward, things like that. So one of the examples that we set this afternoon, we were talking kind of about uh, reading levels. And on the report card, it talks about reading fluent, fluently and accurately. So in third grade, if you're supposed to be, you know, say at an O at the end of the year, and you're at an N, right, you'd still have an AP. Even though where you are now in the grade level, you're meeting the expectation for now, but you haven't met the grade level expectation which is at the end. So that would still be an AP on your report card because the end of the year is the O. So until you hit that grade, that end of year grade level expectation, it's going to say AP. So it's going to progress as we move forward. All right, I'll ask Yannick, that's going to be the most, that's the biggest change in our report cards is going, you know, they're on, even though they're on grade level at an N, they haven't met it, so they're still going to be at an AP throughout until they hit that grade level. And I can come back to that if, if needed. So the other piece that you're going to have is the vision of the graduate skill. So here is the vision of the graduate skill uh, skills. You have critical thinker, collaborator, communicator. Resilient individual, responsible citizen. So one, two, three, four, five. So these will all be uh, recorded in the in the report card. And how these will be measured, right? These will be measured by M, S, and L. So meets, satisfactory progress, <coughs> limited progress. So these these. Um, these progress marks can be met, you know, during the first trimester, second trimester, and third trimester, as you. So there's the vision of the graduate. You'll see it on the report card. And that's going to start in kindergarten. Right? So they'll have that in kindergarten. So obviously, in the different levels, it's going to mean different things. Right? So utilizing the problem solving skills is going to look different in kindergarten than in fifth grade. All right, as we move through. So there's obviously a progression as they move forward through there. All right. Now, as you recall, I talked about graying out of boxes so you can see the gray out. So for mathematics, in this grade level, fluently multiplies and divides facts is grayed out for the first trimester. So there's not going to be a grade there. Right? You might, just because the report cards are new, you might also see an NA in some of the first trimester areas, especially health, right, might be NA because it's not applicable. It hasn't been taught in the first trimester. Are some frequently asked questions that have come up already through parent concerns, parents uh, questioning, should I be concerned about if my child is receiving an AP, right? We talked about that earlier. No, uh, based upon the rigor of the Commons Core State Standards, it's not expected for children, you know, to master all components of the standards until the end of the school year. There's a family guide that I handed to you. 
how does it help parents, right? So, you know, they create an environment for open and detailed discussions between parents and teachers around student achievement, um, keeping teachers and parents focused on student learning goals, uh, trying to paint a clearer picture of what's going on in the classroom, right, as we move forward. And then, you know, who should you contact? You can contact myself, you can contact the teacher. And then Jason Mago, our Director of Teaching and Learning, who has kind of spearheaded this, he could be addressed as well. So here are the standards, right? So everything's gonna talk about effort, but underneath that, reads with accuracy and fluency to support comprehension, demonstrates stamina, these are all the standards that they're gonna be, uh, that will be reported out on the, uh, on the report card. So in all of these areas, Right, as you move through, right, you'll have an E, M, A, P, or an L, P in there. <coughs> All right, so those are the new, so that's the new standards-based report card. It aligns our curriculum and our assessing, and now our reporting out to parents to communicate as well. So obviously we want to look at their goals, their IEP goals or the 504 accommodations mm -hmm. that are helping them with their strategies there. But that's a great question and that's something I can actually bring back um, to actually the report card committee as we move forward. Um, because what will happen on the report card, you know, there'll be some, there'll be a comment where they can look back <laughs> at the progress. Mm -hmm. um, the one thing I would say is that these are skills that we want to develop and to, you know, a, help help all of our students, you know, um, through life become, you know, better problem solvers, you know, persevere through challenges. Um, so we'll take that into account as they move through uh, these skills for learning. Okay. So I that's kind of a yes I and no. I just didn't want it to always, like, show limited because for something they can't help parents. Right, exactly. Yeah. Yep, yep. me means they are on target you know if everything stayed the same they would be on target to hit that that's that standard at the end of the year you know so that means okay they're approaching that means they're we're limited right they <coughs> might need more support early on mm -hmm. which still means they can obviously hit it but they would need more support so the way that I would kind of look at that now is that the AP student you know that approaching grade level um, might not need as much teacher support or whatever that is with the LP but there might be more teacher interaction or intervention into that student meeting that grade level okay. so all five schools have got approved and The new report cards? Yeah. Yep. So they all have assessments built in, yeah. like even at kindergarten. Everything that we do through all of our unit work, through all of their, they're assessing all the way through. So when you see this, they'll have evidence that shows that your kid can do these things or not do these things or is on the way to doing the things that they're asking about. But just, so when you have your conference, like if there's something you don't understand or you're like, just yeah, ask I the teacher. For, for what question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. Any other questions? All right. Perfect. Yeah. So just email me, or you know, or if you see me in the hallway, stop me. Uh, this is a big undertaking for the district, and the rollout is super important for us. So that's why we're here tonight to do that. All right. Thanks.